KFC in Valheim now becomes a real thing as with the Mistlands update we finally got chickens, ladies and gentlemen. In this guide I'll show you how to unlock these fabulous winged creatures by getting eggs, how to hatch, grow, feed and breed them to establish your own chicken empire for all the tasty snacks and feathers you will ever need. Arrow crafting and food management will never be a problem again after you've watched this video, so without further ado, let's get right to it. By the way, nothing beats naked men jumping through portals hand in hand to recover their gear. So if you can't wait to start exploring the Mistlands together, make sure to check out my G Portal ref link in the description for a nice server discount. Alright, step one. Before we can breed chickens, of course we need to get our hands on their eggs, right? And that can be done after you've beaten the fifth boss in Valheim, your Gluth. After you've taken down this bad boy, you will unlock a new item at the trader, the eggs, which costs a whopping 1500 coins. In total, you're gonna need 3000 as you need two eggs to start breeding chickens. Good thing is, with the new Mistlands update, we also got some new dungeons, the infested caves, which are a great place to farm for coins, but you could also farm the iron mines and black forest crypts for riches. Get your hands on that 3k in no time. So, now that you've saved up some money and purchased two chicken eggs, it's time to make them hatch. But before we can do that, we first need a cozy little place to grow and breed chickens, as eggs need warmth to hatch, and the chickens themselves also need seeds to breed and lay new eggs. And pretty important detail is that we now have raid events with bats, which basically kill all your chickens if you fail to protect them correctly. So I'm going to show you a very simple design, which is 100% bat proof and will allow you to breed and farm chickens very efficiently. You're going to need a little bit over two stacks of wood for this build, as well as five stones to make a campfire and also two iron to protect the chickens from the fire and make sure no bats enter it. So we're going to start off by selecting a regular wooden wall and we're going to place three of them right next to each other. We want to make a foundation of three by three and then place two more walls exactly right here. And also break this one to repeat what we did just right there. We're going to place these two bad boys exactly like so. Then place a lower wall because right here we're going to make a little chimney for a campfire. Then we're going to walk inside and take half walls, as these are going to be perfect to fill in the house. We're going to place them everywhere except for the front. And then we're going to place a final one exactly like so. You're going to place a big door in the front and also go for the wood wall 26 degrees, which we're going to put on the sides. For the house itself, you want to take the 45 degrees, as it will make it look a little bit nicer. For the front, you want to have a wood wall half and we're going to finish this one up right here with a thatch roof. So if we enter the place, it's going to be very easy to feed our chickens and we can always get inside to harvest the eggs or slaughter them for chicken meat. While we still have to finish up the roof, so we're going to place three 45 degrees on each side. And then go with a thatch roof rich 26 degrees for the center. So now this place is roofed entirely. It's going to be the perfect shelter for the chickens. So what you're going to do to make it fully functional is place a campfire exactly right here. And then we're going to add in the cage wall two by two. It's very important that we're going to need a forge for this. So now the chickens can't get hurt. We will also get a nice comfort level. And on the side exactly right here, you can actually place fire in the fuel to make sure the eggs are warm and they can hatch. Just gonna place two of these bad boys right here to make it look a little bit nicer. And there you have it, your little chicken coop ready to breed. But the next thing you're gonna need are the two chicken eggs for the 3000 coins. And you're just gonna take these bad boys, and you're gonna walk into that chicken farm, close the door, make sure no enemies can enter. And then all you need to do is throw in the eggs. But before you do so, it's very important to split the stacks, as otherwise you won't be able to breed them. So we're just gonna throw them exactly in the middle. and. At the beginning, they are basically shining, but after some time, they will actually become warm as they are pretty close to the fire. Look at that. The eggs are warm. I'm just going to show you guys that even if I throw an egg like in the very end of the room away from the fire, it should also become warm. So right now it says too cold, but if we just wait for a couple seconds, it says warm as well. So eggs will basically hatch anywhere in this coop. So it's going to be super efficient. 
Right now, it's just a matter of patience. As you won't be able to skip time in Valheim, you have to wait a full real day before these chickens actually hatch. So sleeping is not gonna work. So you can take some time to make this chicken coop a little bit nicer or farm some seeds as this is the food which you're gonna need to make the chickens breed. You could use birch or beech seeds from trees or turnip, onion and carrot seeds. All the other seeds won't work, but this is already plenty to choose from as it's gonna be very easy to multiply these bad boys. I decided to go with onions as they grow very nicely along with my flax and barley in this plains farm. And the cool thing is onions are great for onion soup, which actually gives you a lot of stamina. So I would say a perfect type of easy food for both exploration and building. Of course, you want to make sure that you don't cook with all the veggies as you're going to need some seeds for replanting as well as the chickens. Guys, I hear chicks. Oh yes, now we've got two little chicks flapping around. So uh, what we're gonna have to do right now is wait for another two to three in-game days before these are fully grown chickens ready for the grill and fletching. It is, by the way, very important that you have a roof over your head right here. Have the shelter effect active as only then the chicks can become adults. Of course, you don't have to worry about that if you build something similar like me. All right, look at that. We just got our hands on two hens. They are tame, but also hungry. So that means we can start breeding these bastards. Let's just call these two Uno and Daz, so we know who the OGs are. So you're just gonna grab some seeds. I think 20 is gonna be just fine. And then you basically wanna split your stacks by shift left clicking. And we're gonna just throw them in one by one. You're just gonna keep sliding all the way to the first one and throw everything in the center right there because then the chickens will find the snack and start eating. What? No way! The bats are coming! So yes, I guess right now we see for real that this one is actually 100% bat proof. So let me just quickly grab a snack and deal with this bad boys. So, yeah, you can see that some pets got turned to crisp right here. And if we go inside, ladies and gentlemen, Uno and Dos are still chilling right here, still making love. So I think we can expect an act to pop up very soon. Anyways, right now, it's just a matter of time. We're just gonna stand right here. Or actually, I think I'm gonna take a nap right now. And maybe there will be a surprise for us in the morning. Okay, so day 381 already. Close the gate and uh, there we have it, our first egg. So that means, ladies and gentlemen, that this one is 100% operational and we actually just saw a second egg popping up. This one is too cold, but don't worry, in a moment it's gonna be warm. There you go. So now all we need to do is basically keep firing up this bad boy right here. So the eggs can stay warm forever, hatch new chickens, and of course make sure that the pile of seeds is always high so they can keep snacking and make the babies. If you want to get the best out of your chicken farm and make it run as efficient as possible, you want to make sure you have at least four to six chickens after the butchering process. With less chickens, it will take much more time for new eggs to pop up and new chickens to hatch. So per hour you will have less chickens, less eggs and also less feathers. What I also think is very important to do is to keep at least two eggs on the side as if something happens, if you get raided by y'alls let's say and they blow up your chicken coop, well you don't have to spend another 3000 gold for just two eggs, definitely something to think about. By the way, if you want to fly y'alls in Valheim, I've got a pretty epic guide right here. So if you want to fly these bad boys to distant lands, and yes, it's real, so make sure to check out the top right of the screen. But once you have a nice amount of chickens, I think it's time to get out your butcher knife and start making some nice snacks. By the way, don't tell my brother, but uh, this is his farm. I mean, I don't want to slaughter my own chickens just yet. I just got started with the farm. Anyways, I brought my own eggs and also some of his chickens. So let's start cooking. So with just an egg, you can make a sunny side up with 35 HP and 12 stamina for 20 minutes. I think it's pretty nice emergency food. While well, you can also make a mushroom omelette with a tier five cauldron, three eggs and three Jotun puffs. 85 stamina ladies and gentlemen as well as 28 hp for 25 minutes this is definitely the top tier food you want to focus on 
Well, there are also things like the uncooked honey glazed chicken, for which you're gonna need three honey, two jotun puffs, and one chicken meat. But just grilling the chicks with an iron cooking station will give you very nice stats as well. Cooked chicken meat with 60 HP and 20 stamina, which is exactly the same as a cooked seeker meat stats wise, and it's so easy to get. All right, so there you have it. Everything you need to know about chickens, from unlocking the eggs to raising them in coops, building your own, as well as feeding them and breeding them to get your hands on all the feathers and snacks you will ever need in this game. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to hit that like button as it helps out the channel. And of course, if you have any more questions or suggestions about future videos, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Right now though, it is 4am out, I want to wish you an awesome day and of course good luck farming chickens. I'll see you guys in the next video, take care, peace.